Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, what up, y'all? What up, y'all? This your boy LC the one, baby. LC the one to be exact that is. AKA Illmatic one, two four, and not the mother sucking gang numbers, man. But my actual jersey number I wore when I was in high school, and my warm up jersey's on the back of my mother sucker chair. Hey, what's up to my LC Nation, man? My LC gang gang, my LC crew. What's going on out there in the land where you live? Where you did what? Hey, man. We back, we back, we back. Finally, the boy has come back to vlogging. Can y'all dig that? With a baseball bat, tough acting to nothing, baby. Shout out to the Chicago White Sox, the Chicago Cubs, and about to be the Chicago Bears. On oh, Jesus, Mother Oil Pipe. Anyway, man, we back with another vlog, man. Now, I know it's been a minute since I've been doing the vlogs and stuff, man, because as y'all been seeing, man, I've been trying to catch all the live updates, the info. But what's going on with this NBA stuff because it has turned into a soap opera and it's getting good. So I gotta do my reporting. I gotta do my, my LC the one reporting stuff, man. Cause y'all know I got LC the one TV. So all those videos of basically LC the one TV, the, the Chicago Hood Hood News reporter on the road out there flying and getting the scoop for y'all, man. For real, for real. Cause y'all know we sports minded. Basketball to be exact it is. That's how I claim the fame. That's how I started. But that ain't how I'm gonna finish. Okay? Say what? Shut up! But yeah, man. As y'all been seeing, y'all been seeing all the updates and stuff. And now, as y'all can see from the title of the vid, man, the current and most newest update is about Carmelo Anthony. Not LeBron James. Not Zion Williamson. It's Carmelo Anthony. Melo, my main man. Can y'all dig that? But yeah. As y'all know, man, Carmelo Anthony is the topic of discussion right now. He had a sit down with Stephen A. Smith on First Take. And I know y'all seen the video, 30 minutes long. They yellow marked me and they got away with 98 views for free. But now they got to pay the piper because they gave me the green dollar sign. Thank you, YouTube. But anyway, man, hopefully that both go viral. But anyway, Melo is the topic of discussion right now. And it's a big debacle. Now, we sat down, and if y'all watched the, the video with me, it'll be in a link you did for the channel video out, outro thing so y'all can watch it and hear what he had to say because there's a lot of stuff going on. And he he been quiet, okay? He been quiet about all the stuff that's been said about him, the off-court stuff, on-court stuff. Basically, Melo being blackballed. Basically, he being blackballed. I don't know why this is happening to Carmelo Anthony. Why is all this bad luck happening to Carmelo Anthony? Okay? Stop it, man. It's, 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 it's uh, absurd. It's total blasphemy, man, to be coming at Carmelo Anthony sideways like that. He back with his wife. Okay? They doing good. His son is balling. He's a family man. Okay? He's a married man. He's a businessman. He's on brand Jordan. What's going on, man? I can't figure it out for nothing in the world. What did Carmelo Anthony do? It's somewhat like an R. Kelly situation. He just sitting back and being quiet. And now he's speaking out. He had to speak out and he spoke out to my main man, Stephen A. Smith. Okay? And we're trying to figure out what's, what's, what, what's the problem. Okay? Because now, currently, as we know, no team, based off what he said, don't nobody want to mess with him. And why? Now, he explained what happened. Now, what happened was, he said, when he went left Denver, he went to the Knicks organization. And he went to the Knicks organization because he said it was home. He from New York, okay? And he felt comfortable going back to home, okay, to play for where he's from, like LeBron James, all right? He wanted to do an epic big. He wanted to be the first player like LeBron to win a championship in 30, 40, 50 plus years with that organization. All right? So he went back home. And when he got there, he took the contract. 
They brought Amari Stoudemire in too. Okay, Amari got hurt. Okay, so we can't really fault that situation on Amari Stoudemire or Carmelo Anthony or Phil Jackson. You got to play with the owners because Carmelo learned how to run the, the triangle offense, number one. And if he go to L.A., I think they run the UCLA off, uh, offense, but they may have to bring – but well, they already got a coach now, so they they good. Okay, they good. But Carmelo Anthony is being blackballed. And Stephen A. Smith pointed out maybe it's because he took the money and the organization flopped in that time. Okay, when they hit when they was about to rebuild a team around those two players. Someone like Anthony Davis. And LeBron James situation. Alright. So. Sources. My sources. The ghetto. <laughs> that's where my sources come from. We saying. Carmelo Anthony will be a Los Angeles Laker next year. It will happen. Because like I said. Where else will he go? He already stated that he want to be on the championship team. Playing. And contending for a championship man. That's not a place for him to go besides the Clippers, maybe. The Golden State Warriors. Not going to happen. But he got to be around people that's, that's familiar with him. Okay? And can ball. That's LeBron. That's his class. It makes sense. And CP3. Okay? But yeah. Camelo being blackballed. Now, after he left the Knicks organization, he explained what happened. He said he thought they was going to welcome him with open arms. He thought they was going to do something different with the organization. They didn't do that. That's how the Lakers start off with LeBron. But now they're doing exactly what he, what he thought they was going to do. Bring in the, the personnel. They brought Anthony Davis and they bringing in other players. Okay? So he said after he left the Knicks organization, after, you know, being scrutinized, because he did his job, man. He asked them what they wanted him to do and he did it. So he ended up going to the the Houston Rockets, because he said it was, people was talking a lot. Okay? They was basically saying they was thrusting him on that team. So, he was thinking like, wow. Okay. If that's the situation, he let the public market it for him. Basically what he said in the interview. If y'all want to see the interview, you'll see it right in the, the, the outro. One of the videos at the top. Let's click on the video. It's a 30 minute video. We sat down with them. And we watched it. Now, I got the whole full interview. Probably like four or five minutes of it. But I got the whole 12 minute interview. It was 16 minutes. And I got like the last piece of it. Okay. But. It's the full interview. But anyway. Now after. He left there. And he was being marketed and stuff. And everybody wanted him to go play with the Houston Rockets. Because uh, one of his homies was there. Chris Paul. But. He went to Oklahoma. Okay. No this was before he went to. Houston. He went to Oklahoma. Now he got there. It was a good situation. He had Paul George, so forth and so on. This player, that player, and stuff like that. Russell. Yeah. He said they thought it was gonna work. Now he said he went to Billy Donovan and he was asking him questions about how he could fit in because he wasn't used to coming off the bench. That was the first time he became a bench player when he went to Oklahoma. And he was trying to figure that out. Like what's going on here? He know they got talent and stuff, but he said he wasn't the third option. He was the fourth option. He said Steve Adams was the, the third option, which is absurd. So he said now it didn't whip past becoming, uh, being basketball. It went into some pol political stuff, and he didn't understand it because they was promising him this, and they treated him like he was secondary, like he was, like he was, a, like he was a rookie, like somebody that's starting up. This is a Hall of Famer here, okay? And now, after he left OKC, this is where he got marketed. They was marketing him to play with Houston. And he didn't say nothing. So he went along with it. So he's like, okay, this is a better situation. Hey, let's make it happen. All right? Let's make it happen. He was already in the contract still, okay, from the Knicks. And, uh, so he left the uh, OKC situation and went with Houston Rockets. Okay? He said he was only there 10 days, man. And they was giving him, like, false signs and stuff like that. And he said it wasn't Dan Tony or nothing like that. It was the owner. Because he was saying, like, he would come in one day and see his name not on the board. He would come in and say, 
he wasn't going to be in the game or starting today or playing at all. And he was trying to figure out what the hell was going on. You know, he was trying to figure that out. Like, what's going on, man? Why is this happening? He said, now, that right there took his passion away and that made him draw back. And he just was just sitting there. Like, we see the pictures. That's in disarray. Like, I can't believe all this bull is happening. And where did it come from? We still don't know where is it coming from. Okay? We don't know where it's coming from, man. For real, for real. Yeah. But, hey, man, I forgot to show y'all what I got for Ben Ben. Let's go see what we got for Ben Boy. Whoa, whoa, for that, man. Let's go see what Green Baby Boy, man. Green Baby Boy, he and I have a joint. That's Green Baby Boy. Green Baby. He been up in there for a minute. Let's take him out, man. That water is cold. Yeah. Green Baby. There you go. You got to see. Cover him up pretty good because he was in there for a minute. I forgot all about you, cup. We got all this to the yeah, okay. Let's go see what we got for Din Din, okay. This is what we got for Din Din over here. We got a hurry because we got to end the vlog. Look, see that right there? Yeah, I got the chicken with the with the broth on there from the from the baked chicken and stuff, the hot sauce stuff. Yeah, I got the I got the I got the salad with the tomatoes and the cheese and the and the the good stuff on there. <laughs> yeah, and then I got the tea right here, baby. You dig what I'm talking about, man? And then I got the recycled Pepsi bottle, Pepsi bottle with the with the Sprite in there. Then I got some water right here, aqua. Yeah, y'all know what I said about that. Don't drink that, it's gonna kill your mother OF oh, ass. You dig what I'm talking about for real, for real. Then I got the donut right here in the midst, broken up and stuff, plain and chocolate. And last but not least, this is for chill night. I got a fire stick and I got Netflix and YouTube. Yeah! Okay, so we did that, man. Now I want to, I forget all about that, man. So this is the closing right here. So I know y'all hear the closing music and stuff. Man, you get a chance to do all the other stuff and stuff like that, man. You dig what I'm talking about, man. So this time, I forget that part. You feel me? But hey, anyway, hey. So what y'all think, man? Am I right, you know, about Camelo being blackballed? But I am definitely right because my hood sources, us brothers talk. We know Camelo Anthony going to be with. The Los Angeles Lakers. It got. It, it's gonna happen. There's no other team but the Lakers. But the Lakers. Okay. That's it. Straight up and down. But yeah, man. We finna get up out of here, man. Hey, this your boy LC the one, baby. LC the one to be exact. That is A K A Illmatic one two four, and not the mother sucking gang numbers, man. But my actual jersey number I wore when I was in high school, and my warm up jerseys on the back of my mother sucking chair. Like I always say, man, keep it pimping and avoid slipping. Because if we get your mother sucking ass, if you slip on that mother sucking banana peel, you think what I'm talking about, man? Like I always say, man, touch some God, we're going to leave. Shout out to my LC Nation, my LC gang gang, my LC crew. I need y'all to like this video. Share this video. Comment on this video, man. And most importantly of all, man, subscribe to my YouTube channel, man. And turn the notification bell button on. Ding! To get more exclusive dope content, more pimp play, games, hustle. All about mine, baby. And like I always say, man, church on brother God, we going in the five, a four, a three, a two, a one, church in now. Yeah. 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 Hey, man. I'm just going to keep it 100 with y'all, man. <sighs> Just for all y'all niggas out there, man. Yeah. They're saying I ain't the OG, the original. Yeah. Hey, man. Use a duplicate. Yeah. Use a duplicate. Use a duplicate, nigga. Yeah. Use a duplicate, nigga. Use a duplicate. Use a duplicate, nigga. Yeah. Use a duplicate. Yeah. Use a duplicate. And I'm the original motherfucking OG, nigga. Yeah, don't forget to get your custom t-shirts, you dig what I'm talking about from LC the one. You see the custom prints all over the shirt, you dig what I'm talking about. We ain't playing no game. The custom sweater, you dig what I'm talking about, yeah. Uh-huh. With the back end print on the same. I got the t-shirts as well. You did unisex, long sleeve. You dig now we got the full zip up. You dig what I'm talking about. Straight up with the hood on it. Straight up with the back print as well. You dig what I'm talking about. We ain't playing no game. And then I got the full zip up. Custom with the pockets on it and the stuff, you dig what I'm talking about? Back printing, sleeve and print, you dig what I'm talking about? Prints everywhere. Then I got the yoga pants, you dig what I'm talking about? Joggers, you dig what I'm talking about for men. And I got the crop new t shirts for the ladies, you dig what I'm talking about? Look at that, she look comfortable in it. Uh huh. Then I got the sports bra, you dig what I'm talking about? Get the sports bra, you dig what I'm talking about? The back print, print, you dig what I'm talking about? The back print, print, you dig what I'm talking about? We ain't playing no game. And then I got the yoga pants for the ladies, you dig what I'm talking about? Biker booty shorts, you dig what I'm talking about? For the 
put that peach can round out. You dig on time about then I got the, the yoga leggings, you dig on time about flay, so when she jogging and everything, and I got the capris right there with the custom LC right between the thighs. You dig and I got the, the custom socks, you dig on time, you ain't gonna find no more socks like that nowhere on the planet. And then last but not least, I got the LC the one jersey, you dig on time about then I got the back print on there. Look at that back print, look good. Then I got the Illmatic one, my street ball jersey with the two fold on it. And then I got the little Steve pull up bag right there for the ladies. You dig on draw straight back. And then I got the real backpack. You know what I'm talking about? LC the one. Look at the back. Look at the front. You dig on look at the top. You dig on talking about everything is looking good. You dig on talking about in LC the one's neighborhood. And then I got the X Star iPhone 10 case. You dig on talking about. And then I got the iPhone 6 case. 7, 8, 9. This order what you want. And then I got the custom print. You dig on talking about LC the one, baby. And then I got the custom mug. And when you want to get drunk and drink and stuff to my stream and then I got the snuggle pillow when you want to get snuggled with your lady yeah